Hello everyone and welcome to this Adventure Box video. Today I will create a world and while doing that I'll also go through a little bit more about the features and tools on the Adventure Box site. So first step is creating a world. So we click next here and then we get to choose if we want a flatland terrain or if we want to import our Minecraft world. I'm going to choose a flatland today. And next we'll decide the size of our world and I'm going to go with a medium sized one for this video. And lastly, I get to choose what type of material my flatland is going to be made of. And as you can see, I have a lot of materials to choose from. So I'm just going to go with this gray brick. So just click the create world button and Adventure Box will generate your world for you. Okay, so here it is. And as you can see, it's a bit dark in here. So to light up things, you can go here and click on this world tab and choose time. There you can fix the time or choose if you want a day and night cycle. Okay, so let's start building. So just click on this blocks button and you can see you get lots of materials to choose from. I want to lay out some ground as a base for a building, so I'm just going to choose this red carpet. And I'm going to put a square of the red carpet here. I like some stripes, so let's go with the blue carpet for the stripes. And you can just click and drag it out. You don't have to remove the red carpet first, just draw the blue on the red. Uh, now I'm gonna add some walls and I've sped this part up a bit. Also, remember to click the Save Changes button at the bottom left very often so you don't lose anything you've built. Now I want to add some lanterns to light up the room. So let's go to the Items tab in our Quick Bar. And here you'll find all sorts of items to play around with. We're just going to click on the lantern to grab it and then put some in here to light up the room. And if you want to use the same item again, you just press the key in which the item is in. In this case, you just press 3 on the keyboard and it will grab the last item you used. You can also change the light intensity of the lanterns and all other light sources you can choose from. If you want to do that, just double click on the item and a box with options should come right up. I'm going to put some buildings in this scene now to create some sort of village. I'm just going to go with some of these default ones right now. So I'll go ahead and just place them. And I also want to add some kind of brick road here in the middle. And I did that by just going to the blocks tab again and choose the brick material. And now I'll just add some more items to make it look nicer. So let's add some characters to this town. So let's just name this guy and press the create character button. So as you can see, if you press 2 on your keyboard, you'll get to your own character library where you can see all the characters you've created. I'm just gonna grab the guy we just made, so let's find him and just click to place him. If you double click on one of your characters, you'll see the character configuration window where you can decide your character's behavior. For example, if it's a friendly or hostile character. You can also add a dialogue that the players who play your game will be able to see if they click on him. So I'm going to make a really simple dialogue just to show you one way to do it. So let's just click on the dialogue tab here. And here we can write anything we want our character to say. So I want him to welcome anyone who comes into my game and talks to him. And then if that someone wants, he or she can respond with thanks a lot. And if that person decides to say thanks a lot, you can add a response to that from our character. So he can respond with, uh, have a look around and enjoy the atmosphere.
and the player can answer will do and let's just click OK so this is just one way of making a very simple dialogue now I'm just gonna go around and add a little bit more to the atmosphere so I'm placing some more lanterns and also some trees oh and remember to save often I want to add one more character and try to create a simple mission, so I'm just gonna go to my character library by pressing 2 on the keyboard and choose a little gnome here that I've already made. And I'm just gonna place him there, double click on him and let's write something. So he's gonna ask if the player is up for a mission and if you want to, you say yes of course. And then the gnome explains that he wants the player to kill some evil goblins for him behind the building. And hopefully the player accepts it. So the final thing in this mission is just to play some goblins behind this building for the player if he or she accepts the mission. It's getting dark, so let's just fix the time again. And now we can play some goblins from the character library that I've already made. So now we can try if this works. So I'll talk to this guy who we made first and he's welcoming us just as we wanted to. And then we'll get to our mission guy and accept the mission to kill the goblins. And then we go behind this building and kill them. So this is just a simple example of how you can use the tools at Adventure Box to create your own game. I'm sure you'll be able to build more advanced stuff than I did in this tutorial and we really look forward to see your creations on our site. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you at adventurebox.com.